Hi, this is Gilly Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling aligned with Ubuntu because today our quote of the day is, you know when Ubuntu is there and it is obvious when it is absent. It has to do with what it means to be truly human to know that you are bound with others in the bundle of life by Desmond Tutu. Ubuntu is an African philosophy which states that a person is a person through other people. In other words, it means that I am because you are. In simple terms, it means that we need other people to succeed and to be happy in order for us to be pleased and successful and happy. This is why we need to live our life in an understanding that we are part of a whole and not just individu individuals. We need to be very happy with the success of others because they are also our success since we are all interconnected. I'll get into that in just a minute, but we need to care for the needs of others and not only care for our own needs is what the basic philosophy about Ubuntu says. Uh, Capitalism has its good sides, of course, but so does socialism, where the people care for the underprivileged, the handicapped, and their elderly and needy populations who are less in a position to care for their own needs. In helping others, you are basically helping yourself. When the people become better and happier and more fulfilled, all of us become better, happier, and more fulfilled. Ubuntu states that we are all interdependent. For a person to develop, thrive, and reach their full potential, they need to advance the well-being of other people. As the Bible states, the golden rule is, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Even as early as 350 BC, uh, this principle of Ubuntu was understood by Aristotle, who saw the good of humans was to flourish as individuals, but he reasoned that humans are also social beings and therefore their flourishing is dependent on the flourishing of others as well. This is Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a state where everyone can be happy and fulfilled because each person is caring not only for their own needs but also for the needs of the other person in a respectful manner. And when there is a case when the two clash, Ubuntu should be the chosen way. For example, if someone is faced with a decision between wealth or someone that advances their wealth or the preservation of the life of another human being, then the preservation of the life of another human being is the right choice no matter what. Ubuntu is a philosophy that can also be taken into the workplace where the spirit in which we render service is just as important as the quality of service in what we do for our clients. When we add solidarity, meaning union, unity, acceptance, respect, and hospitality to all of our services, we will achieve more success in whatever we are doing and managing. Ubuntu mentality has also even spread into software, computer software. Ubuntu uh, was developed uh, to bring the African philosophy to the world of computers by supplying free software. Ubuntu is free software to everybody on the same terms, and it's funded through a portfolio of Linux services. Basically, the Ubuntu philosophy includes values that support caring, sharing, uh, co cooperation, compassion, and empathy between people. Every person and every community is shaped and influenced by the other and should benefit from the other. It is therefore our right and our responsibility to promote our individual well-being as well as our community's well-being. In a family setting, Ubuntu philosophy is where the children help look after the elderly members of the family because every person grows up through the efforts of the other people in the family. And in the same way, everyone should contribute towards the development and care of others. Care should be provided within the nuclear family as best as possible through generosity and willingness. And when this fails, then care should come from the extended family. And when this fails, then from the community. Ubuntu suggests that 
it does not suggest by any means that one should become submissive or dependent on other people or on the community, but rather to include others under your care whenever you can. Because anything you have achieved in life was equally also due to the work and achievement of others that came before you. If you look at your achievements, you will see that this is always true. We are all interconnected and we are driven apart only by greed, lust for power, competition, rejection of others, then we will all suffer in these cases. Ubuntu is about forming a space where we are all interconnected and every deed that we do will affect much more, many more people than we can imagine. It is these small acts of Ubuntu that we all can do for each other that will grow to become much more powerful than any morally, uh, morally wrong acts. For example, this is just because I'm into the field of nutrition and health and a person in heart disease, we know that a person has much more chances of surviving heart disease if they get a heart attack at a later age rather than in their 40s or 50s. And this is because with time around the blocking, during the blocking of the artery, there can be formation of collaterals. Um, and collaterals are these side blood vessels that shunt blood around the blockage. With time, small acts of Ubuntu, uh, where people care for other people's needs as their own, will be greater force than the negativity of the few. So this negativity of the blocking of the arteries will be overcome by the collaterals, the, the ones that go around the blockage. So how do we follow the path of Ubuntu and align ourselves with Ubuntu daily? Well. Number one, we share our joys. We also share our gifts and we help others in any way we can. And we act out of conscience at all times. We also include love into our life and into the lives of others. We support the community because as individuals, we would not have existed and cannot exist without community. All of our lives are linked to other people's lives, so the tragedy of one is also in part the tragedy of others, and also the joy of one is, is also the joy and benefit for others. Although there will always be conflict between people because there are differences, there are other ways to solve these differences if there need be, and battle should not be one of them. Be happy for the success of others because they pave the path for your own success. Remember that what you do affects the whole world. And when you do well in something and when you succeed, it affects all of humanity in a positive way. So aim always to do good and well for yourself and for others. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where can I love more and where can I do more for others? In, and in which areas of my life can I be more in line with the Ubuntu philosophy that we are all in connect, interconnected and that what I do affects also? you. <laughs> As usual, I recommend writing your, this question and your answer in a notebook that is especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over your answers and see that you are moving yourself to a better place for you, a better, kinder, happier, more successful, and more empathic place for you and which will be also a better place for other people. So to finish off this video, the affirmation of the day is I make more of myself so that I can give more to others. I make more of myself so that I can be more of service and can give more to others. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life through your subconscious mind with repetition. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you improve your health and wellness and to get to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.